Hello. Welcome Hi, to Resident Evil 4. Hi there. A remake catch-up. Remake catch-up, that's what it is. Yeah. This one, uh, it's, it's just when we, we did a big old breakdown that lasted several hour. We're finally getting to the messages on it. Starting with... Hey. You guys will never believe it. I found a film named Trumbo. Check out the slogan on the poster, it's sort of funny. Best part is it's directed by someone named Jay Roach. Love you, massives. Yeah, Trumbo Jay Roach. By Jay Roach. He made the Austin Powers movies. Oh, that, that I didn't director. know that. And um, Trumbo is, it's got uh, Brian that Cranston in it. Columbo uh, spoof? I don't think so. I can't remember what it's about. I saw the trailer once, but not like a silly movie, I don't think. Or maybe it is. But... <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got nothing to do with Chickpea Grumbo, and that's that's the worst thing, I would say. Um, Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? We're going to bypass their compressors, Ray Skywalker. Well, she's a pretty smart girl. I'm gonna say they kind of did bypass their compressors. Wouldn't recommend it. If ever there were a game where I could believe a character would use the term "crispy critters," RE4 would have been the game. This will be fun. I could believe it in RE4. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Or if you like worked. light something on fire. Like a like, like some like BC, critters. some some bad monstrous beast, and he lights it on fire, and he's like, "Yeah, it's one crispy critter, mm -hmm. bro." That could have worked. Yeah, could have been the greatest line in history, actually. Probably up there. Hi, Rags et al. What's with with the news of more Ray in Star Wars? I'm hoping that somehow Palpatine returns again. He's been vaporized before. Let's give him a third run. Would be hilarious. What's the the news of what Ray in Star Wars? Well, just the new Ray movie. The return movie. of Ray Palpatine. Oh yeah, that she's gonna be. Is it a a movie or trilogy with her? Uh, just a movie. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe they'll see if they can expand <laughs> that one into a trilogy. They'll be like, "What? People weren't really that engaged with it. I guess we'll have to go with something else. No trilogy." Yeah. Like, oh. In this world of tumultuous Star Wars viewership, uh, Ray Skywalker will be the one to. Bring them back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Air was really good. Gonna watch Mario next. You saw Air, right? I like Air. Yeah, yeah, I did. That was a that was an entertaining film. Funny. Good. Uh, Fringy, I need to know what you think of Rick and Mort by Rigamarole. I don't know what that is. is. That like a parody or something? Sounds like I yeah. heard of that. Afraid Fringy has not seen. It. Mm. 23 months, Pog. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, I decided to make a video on the first fight, Massive Croc of Mando Season 3. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. Honestly, it's horrible. Yeah, I believe you. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how it's always been in Mando. Yeah, the, the fights, once you look at them, they're, they're actually really, really bad. Um, yeah. It's some of the worst combat I've ever seen in a show, actually. But people don't give yeah. a shit. They're like, ah, he went pew pew and the stormtroopers fell down. Wow. It's 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 pathetic, but that's what people really like. They like to see the pew pew. Uh what does everyone think of Luis's retcon? I thought it was really I thought it really motivated the characters' choices more clearly. Also what they retcon? I mean, uh That's a good point. I'm not exactly sure what they're referencing. I, yeah, I do not know what you mean by retcon. I don't know of them retconning anything. I guess because they fleshed everything out. So any scene that exists that didn't exist before, if that's what he means, just like, like in the different versions. I guess you wouldn't call that a retcon. It's not a retcon. It's not retroactive continuity. It's just a total remake. It's a new version. Yeah, these are and Louise in different the remake continuities. is just clearly superior in the remake. Mm-hmm. Um, also, they didn't Louis Luis almost makes up for Capcom's Lost Planet 2's Space Mexicans. Space Mexicans? I don't know. I never played Lost Planet 2. I played the demo, which was fun. I think I might have played Lost Planet 2, but, like, only for a couple of hours. I might have played it for a couple minutes. Whoa. If every kid's movie was in the spectrum of Mario equals passable and Puss in Boots equals great... 
I would be very happy for the young generation. Peach may not be game Peach, but she's not fucking evil, but an actual role model, so not bad. Yeah, it's nice to have a non-evil... <laughs> yeah. Um, I, guess, I don't know, just character... Disney in princess. <laughs> Disney princess, yeah. Remember, Wanda's a Disney princess. That's right. Or something. Or something. I like that the Striker charm references the classic Ditman glitch from the OG. It did. That's true. Uh, yes. It's also uh, extremely overpowered compared to the other ones, so... Yes. Uh, uh, Salazar is weak to gold eggs. That's true. Two of them kill him. And uh, it used to be in, uh, let's see, uh, Mendez in the original version was weak to incendiaries. Uh, that would be how speedrunners uh, would kill him. They'd save up, I think, four incendiaries, and then you could just, like, uh, you could hit him with those and it would kill him. Mm -hmm. As long as you hit one of the uh, barrels as well with the incendiary, it'd kill him super fast. Yes. But no incendiaries, uh, even with a really neat new fire damage mechanics. So that's decision. Since it's all RE Engine, Chris, Jill, and Claire should totally be added to Mercs. Yeah, I figured that that wouldn't be too difficult for them. Maybe they'll do it one day. Maybe. Yeah, maybe well, because they're adding knows. Ada, right? She's already in, as far as I know. Oh, yeah, okay. As in, like, she's already in the files. I don't know if they've uh, got anyone else in there. I think Wesk is in there. Um, so we'll oh, see. okay. Hmm. Springy is wrong about Leon's attractiveness. Uh, uh what? Springy, what do you feel about like... Leon's attractiveness? And mm -hmm. what, what's? I know. mean, he's like incredibly handsome. Well, yeah, <laughs> I assume yeah. that was the general. Can people disagree with, with that. Is so it the whole like, like the remake is much uglier or something argument? Uh, that can't be true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I, I don't know what to do with that. I feel like I'm. I feel like. Like, I, I can't understand that in any way, shape, or form. You if know? you were born like... and you looked like Leon Scott Kennedy, um, you wouldn't re-roll. Well, it's just fine. like when people say Ashley's ugly, it's like, I don't understand. Like, you are, yeah, it's like, just clearly I, not. like, it's it's not even a matter of, like, oh, well, you know, it's a matter of perspective. It's like, <laughs> nah, I just don't understand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. Sadly, they put all their online multiplayer eggs into the RE-verse basket, when online multi uh, mercenaries has always been popular. Even RE6 still has peeps. Um, I've never played the, um, the RE-verse game. Oh, I, I, heard, I heard that that's, uh, it wasn't great. That's was what I like hear Operation about Operation Umbrella or um, something like that? What was it? Oh, Chronic that, I, I remember that there was like some... It was Operation Raccoon City. That was that sounds like uh I think that was like a co-op game that people didn't like. It Ari I think it was um it was like it was like a kind of standalone kind of attached to I think the Resident Evil 3 remake. Um like sort of multiplayer game. It was kind of like the Dead by Daylight structure of like big bad, you know, like boss character like Mr. X or Nemesis or something against like you know standard RE playable characters, and I hear I just hear it wasn't very good. The sound designer of RE four o five traveled to America to record authentic gun sounds. Cool. Yeah, I like Neat. when they do that. I love it how it accounts for the plus one round in the magazines, and Leon's brass checks his guns when fully loaded in cutscenes. Uh, yeah, I do like. Yeah, that. I really like and it even, as well. It's a neat. Even in gameplay, he'll he'll check to make sure there's one in the chamber. It's a nice little, nice little detail that you don't really see in uh, stuff a lot. There's mm -hmm. always been an excuse for you to fiddle with your guns, and it seems like people just never really use it. Yeah. Uh, and just like in the OG, Hunk is MVP in mix. He's pretty good. Yeah. He is pretty good. Mass Effect EFAP when? Well, I, I don't think them. that's ever happening. That's a that's a big probably that's a, not that's a big thing. I was gonna say even if I had played them, we probably wouldn't do that. Yeah, know. that's that would that would be asking me to play three games. And well, uh, it would be us trying to break down like eighty hours of content. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> couldn't yeah, do that in an I'm afternoon. It wouldn't be good and fun and great, but that well, that's that's a big ask, you know. Mm. 
a lot of content. I'm surprised Rago didn't get super into the mix in RE405. It's such an addictive mode with gallons of replay value, dude. RE405? Mm-hmm. The original? Well, the original, yeah. yeah. Mercenaries? Mm-hmm. I did. What oh, do you mean? there you go. <laughs> what? Uh, was there ever any... Yeah. I, 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 I got nothing for you. I guess they thought you didn't. <laughs> I don't know why they said that. Here's a video suggestion of a God of War Ragnarok review. Check out Laser's God of War Ragnarok, a disaster disguised as a masterpiece. He's much more sane than the last. Hail everyone. Laser? Um, it's like, a, I think it's like an hour and a half video, so I don't know that we'd be able to check it out. And we're kind of, we, we did our Ragnarok stuff, you know? We did our yeah. Ragnarok. <laughs> Ragnarok. A coin for the vendor. What are you buying? Yo. He's such a he's such a happy dude, just living mm -hmm. his life, selling goods, to, selling so wares to weary travelers. So excited to meet Leon. He's like finally someone who understands me and has money. <laughs> Love your streams. Working through the backlog. Very curious as to how all of you came by your avatars. For the longest time, I thought Muller was a hellgast from Killzone. Just curious. Um, I had a little skull with a gas mask in the form of like a stencil, and it's uh, it's one you can find in a couple of places. So I just uh, thought it looked neat, and then um, fans have made way better renders of that, and I was just like, "Well, that looks neat. I'll I'll, I'll wear that. Why not?" And um, yeah, uh, the main ones I you see me wearing are uh, made by Holtab, uh, an artist who. Uh, makes amazing images. That's how I ended up looking like this. Um, I like Plague Doctors a lot. I, I like the aesthetic. Um, so I decided to go with that. And Green has just... I don't know why, but Green, like, for whatever reason, was just uh, a color that I settled on. Um, as like a sort of almost like a, a, a color for the channel. So I ended up just, yeah, carrying that through. Uh, for me, uh, there really isn't any uh, deep reason for it. I just, I just, I think you know, animals are neat. They're expressive and fun, and Shebas are mimi, and you know, just, just really, uh, is cute and happy, and they're just, just fun little, uh, fun little icon sort of thing. I didn't really think too deeply into it. There's no really uh, deep reason. There's no deep lore on that one. Well, there you go. Um. RE4 Remake makes Parasites great again. Go Tapeworms. Does make them look Yum. pretty spooky. Uh, what do you guys think about the anti-boomer messaging throughout the game? I mean, name another where you have to end legions upon legions of senior citizens with mental issues. Well... Anti-boomer messaging. It's uh, it's making a point clearly, but I, I think there's some nuance to it. It goes beyond just you know old people. Yeah, um, it's hashtag not all boomers. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's just things to think about there. You don't no need to be so limited in scope. Uh, sincerely, thank you guys for spending hours autistically arguing about the writing of a product instead of its whether it's woke or not, like some of your peers. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you enjoy what um, we do. Yeah, we're, we're happy to we're, discuss the writing instead of whether or not it's woke. We we are a home for the autism. Welcome here. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this super chat to Luis. People can change. Uh, yeah, good little story that one. It is mm -hmm. a good story. Uh, a good change, I I would say. Yeah, and that I really appreciated them doing. Mm-hmm. Have we talked about Spirited Away slash Studio Ghibli yet? I hesitate calling it anime because the baggage that word holds, but truly some neat films. I mean, oh, it, well, is. It, it is. Anime. It is anime. anime. Yeah. It is anime. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I've, I've seen, I think, one of those movies, and it was pretty good. So. I thought Spirited Away was neat. Um, I think I watched that last year. Never disliked uh, uh, the to... films from them that I've seen. I need to watch Howl's Moving Castle. Is that what it's called? Whole yeah, that's one of them. Um, yeah. To be fair, I got to see like loads of them. Check out the top rated ones, maybe. Mm. Off topic, but hopefully when you read this, it will 
Uh, do you think Across the Spider-Verse is going to be riddled with Stage 5 cancer, or do you think it'll pull the concept better than the MCU? Uh, I don't know. I, I hope uh... it's good, but I'm a little bit more nervous because it looks like the scope is going to be a lot bigger, and bigger scope just means, like, Harder to there's maintain. challenges that, yeah, there's challenges involved with that. Mm -hmm. I'm worried as well, especially because uh, I don't believe the original uh, writers are on the. Uh, I think Phil Lord and Christopher people. Miller are still writing it, but one of the other screenwriters uh, oh, okay. has written a lot of stuff that isn't so good. <laughs> so, uh -oh. yeah. Uh -oh. Well. Yeah. Fingers crossed, I guess. I you hope know? it's good. Yeah, yeah. I really we had high do. hopes for uh, we had high hopes for Guardians three. Uh, mm. <laughs> so yeah. new. Getting married in two months, sharing the love. Oh, oh, right. oh wow! Married Congratulations. Yet? Congratulations. They might be. How long ago two was months? the Re Well, yeah, Resident Evil four came out in March, right? So that's. In any case, yeah, congrats. Yeah. Happy marriage. Good Yay. job. You did it. Next up, this game sucks just as bad as the OG. Uh, uh, okay. I think <laughs> I it's a agree. little bit worse, um, but how much something sucks could be considered still like 9 out of 10, you know? It's like that, yeah. that level of sucking. You're like, uh-huh. So saying it sucks just it... as bad, it's like, no, I don't think they're the same quality. It's close, though. Yeah. Uh, not the same quality, different experiences. I'm very happy with what we got, though. Uh, oh, yes. A lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, but, yeah, it seems a bit harsh to say it sucks just as much as the other one. Unless the hidden thing is, oh, and they're both really, really good of the same quality. <laughs> so they both technically do suck as much as each other, I guess, is one way to read that. I don't know. I miss the OG merchant. The new one is too talkative. Also, he says, I'll buy it at a high price after he's already paid you. Um, well, so I, I like, uh, I like the new merchant because he talks so much. He's got more to say. I think I, I uh... like him. Uh, I, I think that some of the line, I think it could be tweaked a little bit in terms of his line frequency and amount. Mm -hmm. uh, because gun rhymes were fun for reasons, yeah, yeah, I, I it's that, that is clever, um, isn't it? It's very. But it, we we did see that, we we did hear that a lot. But uh, a lot of his stuff, you know, I I really dig, and I like the look. Um, Maria says that in darkness, the shadow is needed to show the way of light, meaning shadow himself is some kind of hope. I kid you not, that is the legit reason why Sonic fans say Shadow is not edgy. Um, okay. <laughs> sure. You know what? Good for them. That's cute. Good yeah. Good for them. You know, I, I imagine Sonic fans, they're just like, they're off in their little corner playing with their shapes and colors, and, you know, they, they, they got their crayons in the coloring book, and they're yeah, sort of staying in the lines, but, you know, not too much, but... You know, if you having knew, fun and they're laughing and if you knew how great the Sonic lore was, you wouldn't be saying this. If only I knew. If only I knew. But Heretic. I don't. Alas. Only thing worse than an enemy, cucumber. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> worse understand. than an enemy, a cucumber. I'm not sure about that Maybe one. This, but all right. This person doesn't seem to be fond of cucumbers maybe they have an allergic reaction maybe i don't like cucumbers myself i don't uh i don't like them nor pickles just don't, i don't like, like cucumbers pickles. don't like pickles um hmm. Hmm. where are you fringy they're green uh no i don't like pu um cucumbers or pickles all right well cucumbers or pickles <laughs> there yeah i think that's what was about to happen there yeah <laughs> The VAs all got on stream. Ada's VA said that Capcom was looking for someone Asian to play the role and contacted her agent because of the movie. The real reason might be that RE2 remake VA Union. Yeah, we've seen the, the, the Union argument is there and the um, I think she even put out a thing saying that it's good they hired her because of Asian representation or something. But uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm just going to stick to the whole... She didn't do a very good job, I'm sorry. If she's capable of better, that's great. Um, the direction was at fault there then. But if she's, uh, if that is her best, then damn. 
Um, I'm sorry. I understand you want to play a, um, I don't even know how to put it, like a character who's very, very to business sort of thing, but you don't have to come across as like you're reading the script and you're annoyed and bored. Mm. Uh, pull yeah, up a, yeah, pretty much. Pull up a video of her mercenary's voice lines. Bad. I, I played the game, so. <laughs> I, I already know she's not so great. The the thing I don't buy about like the whole she's trying to play a particular way is like it it's the same for every single line no matter what she's doing in the scene no matter how she feels it's just uh, the same I guess, delivery. I guess something I'd appeal to is like I don't know man do you enjoy like I don't know the lines just they don't they don't sound good so like even if that's what you were going for it's like I don't know like the delivery is not particularly interesting, um like on its face. And I don't really think that it uh I don't really think that it plays into who that character is supposed to be. So yeah. Well to compare to a bit more of an extreme, if someone said, you know, Hal nine thousand sounds a bit robotic in his delivery, it'd be like, um mm. Yeah. I mean yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Um, and I think context uh, not only exonerates the delivery of Hal, but also if you listen to it, it doesn't sound as robotic or it doesn't sound bored. It's like a different it's, thing. Yeah, it just sounds like bored, uh, dispassionate, um, just monotonous. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, I, it's just not a very uh, engaging performance. Hey, Massives, I've been considering book reading because I think there's a ton of great content I missed out on. So far, my list of books are The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, The Haunting of Hill House, A Turn of the Screw, The Midnight Club, and The Fall of the House of Usher. I love the Lord of the Rings trilogy and would love to read the books, and I'm a huge fan of Mike Flanagan um, because of you guys. And so I'd like to see the original works that he based the shows on. I've also been considering reading some H.P. Lovecraft, such as The Shadow of Rinsmith and Call of Cthulhu. And there's one more. Uh, are there any books you guys have read that are worth reading? Also, hi, Rags. You have the most infectious laugh. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, so um, I would recommend a few books. Uh, the Alchemist is pretty good, and it's quite, uh, sh it's rather short, so it's an easy read. I'd recommend The Lords of Discipline. I think that's a pretty darn good book. Um, you'll really enjoy reading The Lord of the Rings, I think, even, you know, with your context being the, you know, movies to start off with. Um, let's see. What other books would I recommend? Hmm. Hammer of God by Arthur C. Clarke is pretty good. Um, and and uh, as is Nightfall. I've referenced that before by Arthur C. Clarke, or sorry, uh, Isaac Asimov and Robert Silverberg. Um, hmm, what other, what other books would I recommend? You guys can give yours while I think for a little bit more. Um, I was curious to comment on the fact that they mentioned they would like to check out the things that inspired Flanagan. When uh, the big shock I had when I first watched Hill House was like, I'm going to check out reviews. There was a lot of negative ones, passionately negative ones, and I was like, oh, geez, why? And almost all of them were talking about how much it fucked the source material. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, when you go and read it, I wouldn't expect any connections uh, other than maybe names. Uh, but that would still make for an interesting read, potentially. Hopefully, yes. I believe the Haunting of Hill House story's premise is there's a dream scientist man who's studying everyone dreaming and when they sleep and stuff at the uh at the place and weird things start happening i think that's right as you can tell already it's like oh so that's got nothing to do with the show it's like nope don't sound like it no hmm but i hey, knew what the know. actual premise of the book was i just heard that the show was nothing like the book at all well and it's um it's kind of a great example of the whole adaptation thing, right? Like, Hill House is considered a very good show, but if only more people knew about the source material, it would not be. Which is really weird. It uh, seems kind of arbitrary. It's certainly not our take. No, no. We, it stands on its own. We yeah. would say it's still good, whether or not you're aware of the source material. Um, but that it should be acknowledged that it is one of the least faithful adaptations in existence. Right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it eventually comes down to it's not about source accuracy. It's about source accuracy depending on however many people are aware of it, 
which yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, hard to maintain a consistent standard on uh, on that. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really have any books to recommend. Uh, my, my, my go-to's would probably be all the stuff that's been mentioned already. So, yeah, fair enough. Um, if you want a really chunky boy, *The Count of Monte Cristo* is a really neat book to read. Um, hmm, you know the Halo books, the first three Halo books, I I quite liked. Um, *Fall of Reach* is worthwhile. Uh, yeah, *The Fall of Reach*, *The Flood*, and *First Strike*. I I quite enjoyed those. I thought they were really neat sci-fi books. I haven't read *Dune* yet. But everybody says oh, that you need Dune's to read neat. Dune. Yeah, that's one of them science fiction books. Yeah, it is one of them science fiction books. And I mean, in terms of like uh, easy sort of choice, like getting collections of you know short stories or uh, novels from like you know uh, like from a writer that you find interesting can be worthwhile to just get like a bit of variety, right? Like you can get a Ernest Hemingway, like short story collection, Lovecraft, uh, story collections, you know, if you want to go all to Shakespeare, there's plenty of those sort of collections as well. Um, if you're looking for more variety, like if you, if you don't know what's going to be interesting to you, uh... but that's probably, that's probably more than enough recommendations. <laughs> Potentially, yes. DC Douglas could have also, also just been cut due to creepy behavior with girls and stuff. He said he, stuff he said about grooming, though he does still get other roles. I have no context for any of that. No comment. Me neither. I yeah, don't know, I don't I know about that. Um, Ada betrayed Wesker in the actual timeline. She gave Wesker a regular plaga, and he had to go and get a dominant plaga from Krauser's body, so it changes nothing. Fair enough. I I said when we were talking about it, I'm so not familiar with uh, Resident Evil's story. As, uh, like, uh, the broad story and all the connecting pieces between each of the games. I just know that Resident Evil 5 is next, so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess... After Wesker's... 4 comes 5. Yes. I managed to figure that out, but going beyond that is a bit tough for me. That's good. For... I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. Howdy crew, can't watch the whole stream, so here's five dollars. Hope y'all have a lovely resurrection day and high ranks. Hello. Krauser, power is power, Leon, remember that. I mean, he's not wrong. Very straightforward formula. Adam Sadler is best Sadler, 2023 Gravestone. Adam Sadler. True. Made a lot of movies. Still making movies. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of judging Mauler, did you knife kill Krauser? Where's the footage of that? Um, well, I just used my guns on him. So I was like, boom, 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 and killed him. Um, but yeah, it would be, you could knife only him. That's definitely possible. That was essentially what I did, or at least I thought was, uh, I thought it was sort of the intention to knife fight him throughout the whole thing. So that's what I did, um, but my knife ran out of durability in a, near the end, and I had to finish him off with some guns. Mm. Uh, but I did, uh, I did really enjoy the fight. I thought it was a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat fight. What is black and white and dead all over? You, if you don't stop having poor critiques. Pretty spooky, right? That was just a glimpse into my twisted mind. Oh, oh my, my goodness gracious. Uh. It's like Shadow of the Hedgehog. Terrifying. Uh, glad you're doing this EFAP. It's just a shame I have plans to see the D and D movie t tonight. Uh, I ran zero percent hit rate. Speed runs of the original. Neat. Uh, oh wow, that's really impressive to get through the whole thing without taking. Uh, any apparently, hits. they could do it in two hours and fourteen minutes. Oh wow, that's very impressive. And they said, "Godlike remake." I lost my shit with the Dipman glitch homage knife upgrade. Yeah, I'm fifty fifty on the knife upgrade. Uh, in terms of mechanics, I guess, but um, I appreciate that reference, and overall, like we said, it's a pretty fucking good remake. I, uh, yeah. Um, I was gifted this when I wasn't even here. Keck, love you, Longoids, and hi, Rags. Hello. Neat. Thank you. 
Also, I haven't caught an EFAP live in ages. Glad you guys are still going, and I love the plushies. Please make more merch so I can buy them. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's an idea. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I really enjoyed this remake. I did too. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Yep. And I really don't... I don't want to buy into this whole... Uh, there's a bit of doomerism with... Um, like, oh, great. So the we're in a position now where the only good things that come out are things from ages ago. It's like, I mean, you know, it's very different from the original, and we still, you know, Ragnarok was a pretty good game, and that's not like... A yeah, remake. but I guess people people don't agree on that, do they? Well, what about the new Zelda? Uh, well, I mean, everybody's really enjoying that, so yeah, there's there that go. one for you. I feel oh, like... That's, you know, that's a sequel, you know? It's not an original, there's, brand new thing. There's plenty to complain about with the state of games, but I feel like they're in a way better position than movies. Absolutely. Um, yeah, definitely. And and I feel like uh, if you're getting a bit doomery about video games, you just gotta look uh, more. Especially with like how many indie <laughs> games more. there are just all around the place. Like really, there's a lot of games. There are a lot of games. Yeah. Hey, Mauler, Fringy, Rags, and anyone else here when this is read, I'm thinking about getting into The Simpsons. Is there a good episode I can stop watching the show at before the writing gets bad? Um, I, I, I mean, I think, I think you might have, we might have been asked this recently, but the, I think you said the movie, which well, I, I agree with, yeah, actually, I, now that I think about it. I do feel bad sometimes because uh, people send in the question more than once because they, you know, they're waiting to get it answered. So obviously we're still, we just try and get everything done and eventually these come out, so... Sorry if you felt the need to say this more than once, but yes, the answer would be for me that uh, you can stop at the movie. To be fair, you can stop at wherever you think, like, ah, this isn't that funny anymore. Like, that's, that yeah, probably like, is, you know, the way to go. It's right of time versus, uh... It's essentially what I did. <laughs> you know, enjoyment. I don't remember when I yeah, stopped watching it, but I know I did, so... It was what everybody did when they were watching it as they were coming out. At some point, you just kind of fall off. You're just yeah. not interested anymore. Uh, EFAP quote without context of the day. I hope if I have parents, they are nothing like them. Wait, did I say if I have parents? I do have parents. Why did I say that? The rags quote, apparently. Oh, that sounds like <laughs> something I'd say. Mm -hmm. Like, I, yeah. um, I think it, it's like saying, you know, I, I saw a young baby the other day. And you're like, yeah, all babies are young, you know, but you just don't even think. You're like, oh, yeah, just a little bit of. A little bit of redundancy there. A little bit of, little bit of <coughs> adjective insurance. Is um is Benjamin Button a young baby? Uh, has Rags heard of that film? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> of the sim of sorry of what? Benjamin the Button. The curious case of Benjamin yeah. Button. Yeah. Yeah. I like, guess in that I guess in that circumstance it would be okay to say a a young baby. Well, there you go. We fixed it. Or Solved an old the problem. baby. Or an old baby, right? He'd be an old baby? Well, um, like, yeah. Oh, he he, he, he becomes an old baby, but he starts out as a, a young that's old man. That's what an man. adult is, is an old baby, right? I believe so. I'd have to check with science on that one. I think that's how it works. Uh, Pre-ordering in the year of our Lord 2023? Oof. Well, yeah, yeah that's alive and well. Yeah, don't go, go to the shops and then just ask for the game and they'll have it because games don't run out of stock. Special um, editions, though. Board. You still got that. Uh, if you want those, sure. But then, you know, then that's the trade off, right? If you want to yeah. get, like, the statue or the collectible or whatever, you just got to accept that you might buy. And, you know, that, that collectible might be, like, tarnished. Like, if you, if you spend $200 on Destiny, like, special edition. And then you get that little ghost, and then you play the game, and you don't you don't find it very fun. And then you just see that little statue there as like a reminder of that <laughs> a monument time to, to the failures of the money. game. Yeah, it's a monument to my fucking sins by that game. <laughs> being so excited for it. <laughs> Bonus quote: My grandma has cancer. Fuck my grandma. Weekend warrior. I don't I don't remember him saying that, but all right. Mm, I don't remember him saying that, but you know, good on him. In lieu of the Wings quote of the day, how is everyone feeling about the Wings boogie boxing match about to happen? Over under on how many <laughs> seconds it will last? Ninety. You know what? We'll go with that. Good, good on you. You're you're gonna you, you will be very pleased to know that we do have thoughts on the. Uh, oh, the Wings quote the of the day wings. account, Zach. He's gonna love our uh, coverage of 
that fight, I think, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Geralt, what are you really going to owe Dim? Do you really want to know? Geralt, I do going to know, Geralt. For this time only, I shall spare you and deny you your request. Rags is right about going to top tier good boy. I think that's uh, it's a super chat that has been sent before. Huh. So, uh, so which I are three things, really... right? Yes, I do. He's, the, he's one of the villains from uh, Hearts of Stone, uh, the DLC. Um, a very, very good villain. I like. He's one of my favorite villains in video games. How can you have a heart of stone on a stone? Um, I don't know. Isn't that like the a... name of a like a upcoming Gal Gadot movie? More like acting of stone. <laughs> oh, we have fun here. Usually, best Ashley. I, I don't know what they mean. Usually, I guess me, but like. Am I the best, Ashley? Sure, Muge, why not? Mugely. I would run around with Leon in a castle. That'd be fun. Or a village. Or an island. Yeah, yeah, you do run around with a little bit on the island, that's true. Uh, Mando Socks, that's the SM, the MSG? Does it mean Mando Sucks? Mando Socks, uh, that's, the, that's the message? I guess so, but they said Socks. I mean, I'm okay. Yeah. I think like it's fine for anyone to pick up some Mando socks. Yeah, that could be cool. Mm. Yeah, you know. Fair enough. I haven't played this game, not even the original. I thought it was always too tedious, but now after a couple of the massive simps for it, I might. Oh, it's an easy simp, that one. It's definitely not tedious. Uh, nope. It's built to play for fun repeatedly. That's, that's uh, partly what I'd say people uh, broadly are saying is wrong with video games these days. Is uh not enough mechanical focus and dynamic and replayability, which I wouldn't disagree with. Uh, I do like that. Yeah, I think it, I think it's the reason why right now, like Tears of the Kingdom, is uh, so engaging for a lot of people. Is because it's just like here's a big sandbox, here's a bunch of mechanics, here's the tools uh, in this world that you can mess around with. The uh, use these mechanics to mess around with. Now, more or less, do whatever you want, and then you'll find that like players can uh, can have a lot of fun. Just as long as you got like a really robust core framework. Yeah. Uh, I love the Mario movie. Shad needs to smoke some. I don't think he smokes anything, Mushrooms? but maybe, maybe. He, oh yeah, yeah, he, I don't yeah think he so. Um, smoke free. I didn't. I, you know, I'm just gonna say I didn't love the Mario movie. I thought it was neat. I liked mm. it. Yeah, it was neat. Give a thumb it was up. All right. um, I had uh, I had fun watching it, was... it. I got my laughs. It's, it's good eh. as a. If if I were in a if I were a stock, you know, holder in, in some meeting and they showed me that, I'd be like, Okay, I understand. I understand how this is gonna I'm work. going to get a what, a return on my investment. Yeah, yeah like I, it's a good it, I was about to say it's a good tech okay. demo. It's a good representation of what can happen. But uh, you know, if that was the only thing to come out of Mario adaptations, it'd be like, Oh, is that yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially it would suck if that was the best thing they ever make. Uh, it would suck yeah, if it was all downhill from here. Fun. That would really stink. Yeah. Um, this talk reminds me of what makes a good puzzle. Guns and accuracy are a tricky topic, but I believe they are better and worse ways to handle it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There are better and worse ways to handle it. We do I come do. back to it every once in a while. The topic of gunplay on games, as you do, because it's pretty core cool with a shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Wrongs. What do you think of the Chucky show? I do not know what the Chucky show I is. Not. I can <laughs> guarantee he would... Uh, I don't even know if he's seen the Chucky movies. I Probably like not. the doll, the creepy doll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he, I, he... I know of them, but I don't... I've I seen don't Chucky 1, 2, and Chucky 3. Uh, nothing beyond that. And uh, I haven't seen the show. Though, didn't they get Mark Hamill to voice Chucky instead of Brad Dorif, which I don't like? Um, uh, I think that was for, like, a kind of like a reboot movie. But I think uh, the original guy is still playing the character. I hope so. Uh, but yeah, you know, maybe we'll do a Chucky arc at some point. <laughs> I don't know. Shark. <laughs> uh, Fringy, thoughts on Operation Overlord? Hi, doggo. Operation Hello, Overlord. hello. 
You mean the Mass Effect thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um wait, what was the what wait, what was Operation Overlord in Mass Effect? Oh, I can't remember, but it was a thing. The one where they all what attack that? the thing, I think. What was that a mission in Mass Effect? Yeah, there was like a, like an Overlord thing, right? There was like a Project uh, Overlord in Mass Effect. I think it was in Mass Effect 2? And I am like, yeah, I'm blanking on that. All I know about is Operation Overlord in World War 2, obviously. Um, boom, 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 boom. I only went to the shooting range so I could see Ashley sit on the barrel. Wow. And to think there was a fun arcade game sitting right there. Uh, a perfect performance mate gets an A rank with three missed skulls. Yeah, they uh that was weird, especially as someone who's trying to get the high scores and stuff, hearing the um the merchant be like, You're doing amazing, like wow, that's the best score ever. It's like I'm far away from the best score. I don't know why you're saying that. <laughs> why are you lying to me? <laughs> are you fucking with me? Is that it? The best charm is the beetle. It's insane. I'm starting to forget now. What did the beetle do? It was something to do with was it healing? Anything else? Probably not. The beetle? I, I forget what the beetle was. I remember being good, though. Um, I think it might have been resale value for weapons. Like that. No, I think that was, uh, I think that was Lewis. There was a Lewis oh, okay. charm. Uh, did you guys see the new game plus dropped for God of War Ragnarok? Also high rags, head pats for good doggo. Oh, hey, thanks. I do know that, and they added in his really nice looking outfit from the beginning of the game as a playable wearable one. Neat. That was highlighted as like, see, they listen to the fans. And it's like, yeah, I guess so. It would have been difficult, I don't think, because it was already done. Probably not. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's good to listen. Uh, shooting a leg into a grabbing enemy always makes them fall. Not sure about rec uh, regular charges. Also, I'd say the game rewards consistent accuracy. Um, like, I would. I mean, a game never like punishes consistent accuracy. Um. It's really more of an element of it. It adds it adds an element to the game that I just really don't like, which is an RNG mechanic to staggers. Um, but I I guess yeah, if there's like if there's a one in three chance of staggering, then yeah, it rewards consistent aim by giving you, you know, three chances for the stagger instead of, you know, however many you would have made if you were missing. But hmm. yeah, that's something I guess. I guess so. Like Halo is a game that rewards consistent accuracy because t uh, typically because of you know just like time to kill and things of that nature. Where Call of Duty isn't really how you describe it, you know, because um, the time to kill is super low and quick. As a big fan of the XCOM games, I think there's something to be said for randomness as a risk management mechanic. But I think here there's too much with a uh, with. Too small a benefit and not enough communication as well. Get good, Mola. Wow. Um, yeah, the whole randomness in games thing is... I really enjoy randomness in a lot of different games because it adds a lot of replay value and unpredictability to what you have to do. Um, so, like, I'm playing Deep Rock Galactic, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm picking a mission. I know the mission type is, oh, I have to collect six alien eggs, and I have to collect ten fossils. Okay. But it's a randomly generated cave, and inside that cave, there's some things I know how to deal with and whatnot. So that part isn't random, but the generation of the map itself is random. So each playthrough feels uh, different, and it can significantly change how you go about completing the objectives. But... When it's randomization in terms of like, oh, this enemy's coming towards you, will he, will he just get you or will you be able to stagger him? And there's no difference between what you do and what happens to the enemy. That feels kind of punishing and not nearly, as, uh, not nearly as fun when it's essentially a dice roll on whether or not you take damage or something like that. Part of the interesting comparison, of course, was in the OG game. It's like certain shots guarantee uh, certain reactions from enemies, but the, there is a random chance you'll get an insta-kill. Um, yeah, the it was never like you you were never punished for getting a um a a non critical hit, but those is, crits would be just really great when they do happen, and they would just be nice. There is the very specific circumstance of punishing you in the 
it's a it's the you want to prompt a kick and you shoot them in the head and the head comes off and you're like fuck because now you don't get the kick which means yeah. you could have had crowd control so it's, it's yeah, a very now, specific the enemy's just dead and no longer a problem so even then it's but it's it's like one of those like not even almost well, let's like say you know you're running low on ammo and everyone's really close that would have saved you but without it now one of them grabs you or does something you know you're just like oh fuck yeah i guess the, the difference is you have to talk about some fairly extremely precise circumstances uh, yeah where, where that would be the case as opposed to you know resident evil remake is like oh another non-crit uh oh, okay oh Last thing, I got Wait, the uh, crit upgrade on the basic pistol really early in my first playthrough, and now I think I'm going to be doing that pretty much every playthrough. Um, it just makes it more reliable. I've just put in three gold tokens, then three silver tokens, and I got two of the exact same charm. Yeah, not a fan of the way they balanced that system. Yeah, you can have a an, an objectively much easier time with a game if you just get the correct. Um, yeah, if you get the good charms, because some of those charms are like crazy good, and some of them are basically worthless. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, speaking of changing keys, you can't change the scroll direction between the four gun slots, nor can you change the gun placements in those slots for range challenges before the challenge starts. Yeah, those things should be in there. Um, yeah, I kind of wish. There's no reason why not. I mean, it, it is in your inventory, and the options exist in the game, so... Oh, well. Yeah. Hello there, EFAP. This is Gruff. I'm slowly catching up. I'm currently on 149. I want to thank you all for the quality content y'all put out, and wish you a happy Easter and a wonderful day. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. I hope you hope enjoy. your day went great. 149, so that means you're still almost 100 episodes behind. Speaking of which, Whenever he'll... Whatever hear closer. people say the that they've done them all. Wow. You know? We've like done them all, Rags. We have done them all, and it took us days to Many to days, yes. So, yeah. Um, stop saying El Gigante. You don't say Gigabyte or GIF. Yeah, but you say Gin. Well, Never bring well, this no, up. No, oh. Guys, th this is a bad. No, it's Spanish. Yeah, that's it, what they should be appealing Jim, to. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what you're. Yeah, that's what you should be saying. I say El Gigante because it's because it's Spanish. If they if people say El Gigante, then um, I just take note of it, but I don't say anything. You know. But I'm gonna it say is, it yeah. even more now. I'm gonna say it where it's nah, not even relevant. You will feel bad. We're gonna be like you're only punishing yourself. Oh, I love them puzzle games, and then I'll be like, yeah, imagine you could play as El Gigante while doing a puzzle game. I'd be like, what, what does that have to I'll do have with to anything? I'll say anything because you will feel bad about doing that. I'm gonna feel so good. You're like, gonna feel bad. I'm gonna feel better than ever. It's gonna power no. me up every time I say it. You say that now, but that won't be what happens later. Uh, fuck, marry, kill, organized chaos, synthetic man, and movie blobbit. Yeah, nah. I'm <laughs> alright. Thank you. As, uh, those are wonderful people, all of yes. them. But uh, I would never, I would never uh, speak as to my decisions regarding those, those things. Just beat my second playthrough on Professional. Game is neat. OG RE4 is a much better balanced and designed game, though. They also made the suplex less fun. High rags. Hello. When you're much as... better balanced? I'm not sure about it being much better balanced. Um, or even... I don't know. I think the, the remake does a better job at keeping each weapon, like, viable as a choice. Um, Balancing but... is really tough, because it changes when you get more and more familiar with the game. Like, the... Yeah. The, what, how, how well balanced is the game for a new player versus a veteran player? And it's like, well, can't you balance it bo them both? And it's like, yeah. I mean, sort of. It's just a matter of discoverability. Uh, yeah. I think that there's a lot of games out there where a game might seem unbalanced or super balanced, but the more you play it and the more you discover it, the more uh, your opinion changes. Um, and I think a lot of it has to come down to what do you discover about the way that guns operate and the game mechanics work as you get more experience. You know, maybe the guns that you thought were really good, and they're still okay, but you start to appreciate the other options that you didn't quite understand at the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, El Gigante pronunciation is Higante. I don't know if anyone cares. Just wanted to point it out. It's the one time my Spanish can be useful. Nice. Beautiful. 
You guys see that God of War Ragnarok New Game Plus lets you equip the Bear Cloak outfit throughout the whole game? The devs really get what we want with the game. Really. Huh, that's really neat. I'm glad they did that. It does look pretty cool. It is a cool outfit. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't like... I really don't like super flashy stuff a lot in video games. Sometimes I like something that's a bit more utility, not as flashy, a bit more normally, I it. guess. At Rags, when Leon has the ears, does his name change to Leon Yif Kennedy? The ears? No. Well, cat ears. Cat ears. No. No, right. no, 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 no. No, no. The D and D movie, tear it apart, lads. We'll check it out possibly at some point. Maybe when it's yeah, out. I wouldn't mind checking it out to see. Um, I've heard mixed things about it. Uh, Mauler's Hardcore Part One, sixty fourth minute, best laugh. I'm, I agree. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I, uh, fair enough. I want a DLC where you play bingo with the Ganados. That would be cool. Get to know a few of them. Those are old. Yeah. Boomers love bingo. That's where they went in the in the early village part, right? That's where they went. They went That's to bingo. That's true. They were going bingo. El el bing el bingo. El bingo. El bango. Speaking of Chainsaw Man, watch Chainsaw Man, you massives. It's one of the rare good animus. Even it even has a fringy in it. Look up Violence Fiend. I'm guessing it's a plague His doctor. His name is Violence Fiend. Great name. Why would you say that like that? You, are you jealous of the name because it's so good? Uh, it's, it is a pretty good name. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just had to let it wash over me for a second there. Yes. Um, hey guys, forgive me if I've been asked this before, but I'm curious to know what are your thoughts on David Lowry's 2021 film, The Green Knight? Uh, I kind of hated it. I was a little bit bored by it. I understood I think it was a lot of what boring. it was getting across, and I thought it was kind of gorgeous at a lot of parts, but that I wasn't, yeah, it had some wasn't very scenes. engaged. I, basically, I enjoyed the last 15 minutes, but everything went yeah. up to it. I, uh, it was just, it was, it's a really, it's a really long movie, you know? Way too allegorical and confusing with its themes and messaging. Huge swaths that feel like they're empty and there's not anything really going on. Um, a really bad, I think, exploration of a potential, uh, of, a, of a good story that could have been told here. Um, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, I, I really didn't enjoy it at all. But yeah, the last like 10, 15 minutes was pretty, uh, pretty cool. So, so watch go. that. I know Star Wars is currently in the gutter, but are any of you excited for Jedi Survivor? Nope. No. Uh, <laughs> I've heard some Fallen good Order things, question like... mark, of what it's functioning anyway. I played Fallen Order and like, I played it once. I played it for like a good five hours or so and I was like, this just is not at all grabbing me in any way. Yeah. So I just stopped playing, and that was that. Yeah. I was the same. And that is the last message. So wow. thank you all for sending those very kind donations in. Appreciate it. That, I suppose, closes the book on the Resident Evil 4 remake discussion. We'll uh, see you for the next Resident Evil. Resident Maybe. Evil 5 remake, boys. What's the timeline? Well, that'll be weird. Resident Evil 9, right? That'd be Resident Evil 9's probably Oh, yeah, next. that's going to be the next one. Probably, because I think RE5, uh, or, it still seems too modern for a remake, you know? Well, I think it's more so that they alternate, it seems. So, like, new game remake, new game remake. I don't think Resident Evil 5 is too modern for a remake. Yeah, it's not uh, far off I guess it's not. Right? It's not. I guess it's it's not too modern for a remake, but I think it feels and plays so modern that you wouldn't get a lot of the mileage out of a remake that you would with an older game. Well, they could change a hell of a lot. They, they certainly could. There's a lot to change and a lot that I would recommend. Um, but on that note, thank you all for listening. Keep us company. We'll see you in the next EFAP related thing, whatever it may be. Doodle pip. Yeah. Bye, yeah, bye. we will see you later. Bye bye. bye, bye, bye. bye.